Hi, my name is Doc McDonald, and I'm also one of the two sober guys, and by the grace of God, I'm sober today. Now, I'm going to share with you my understanding and practice of the 12 steps of recovery. I'm not going to waste your time, and I'm not looking for your likes, and frankly, I, I really don't give a damn if you like my presentation or not. All I want to tell you is that it's the way I was trained, and I will train you if you want it. After all, this program is uh, for those who want it, not for those who need it. I'll explain that as we go through. So, without any further bullshit on my part, let's go do this thing. Now, if you're not an alcoholic, substitute your drug of choice. Now, whenever I use the word alcohol, whatever controls you has you just as screwed up as booze does. So, throw in cocaine or morphine or sex or whatever it may be. Let's start here with the step, the only step, that you've got to get 100%. Now, the rest of them you can screw around with as long as you want until that pain gets so great that you decide it's better to do them than it is to continue suffering. All right? Step one, we admitted that we were powerless over alcohol and that our lives had become unmanageable. Now, here's the deal. This step tells you that you're not alone anymore. And if you're a Bible scholar, you'll soon see why. I'll explain. It says that we admitted that we were powerless. Not that I admitted that I was powerless. See, I can't do this on my own. All I can do is get loaded and screw up my family life and, and, and my family and my business and all of that. That I can do alone. But I need you. And I need all of the drunks and addicts just like us to remind me on a daily basis what it was like because I have a terrible memory and I have a fantastic forgetter and I'm going to forget what the agony of my last drunk was like as sure as the sun's going to come up tomorrow. And the step also tells me that I'm powerless over booze. Now my first reaction to that was, screw you, I'm not powerless over anything. And the simple answer is, then why the hell am I here? I, I can think of a million better places to be than in the halls of an AA meeting. You know what I'm saying? So I'm here because the wife threatened to leave me, or a judge ordered it, or my boss suggested it, or a friend bought me. Now, that friend's probably not on my A-list right now, but eh, that's okay. So we admitted, proving that we, you, and I are not alone anymore. There are millions of us just like you. And we are, were just like you when we first came into the halls, rebellious, we were angry, frustrated, the world didn't understand us. The truth is we understand you completely. And we all have, every damn one of us, been right where you are right now. And sure, we bitched and moaned and complained just like you. Just like you, we were broken, we were beaten, we were lost, alone. Now, personally, I came here because of the last half of that two-part step. My life was unmanageable. And try as I might, I just couldn't make things work anymore. Jobs, relationships, friendships, nothing worked. And if the only way I could get my life back was to admit I was a drunk and that I was powerless... Now, finally, I was willing. Finally. No one here, least of all me, is going to tell you that you're an alcoholic. That's a decision only you can make. When you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, come on over to the sober side. And if you want to get out of that hole that your life has uh, dug you into, then stop digging and join us. And to climb out, take the steps, the steps out of your own personal hell. And to do that, you start right here. We admitted that we were powerless over alcohol. Our lives had become unmanageable. Say that, mean that, believe that, and you'll find yourselves among a fellowship of friends the likes of which you've only dreamed of. You'll be on a new path, a highway to a destiny of great joy and happiness. And it's up to you. If you want what we have, and if you're willing to go to any lengths to get it, then you're ready to take certain steps. And this one 
is the first. God bless.